And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at another expansion for Marvel United, Tales of Asgard, which is Thor vs. Loki, joined by Valkyrie and Korg, and of course, Beta Ray Bill! Um, so let's take a look at what's inside this expansion. Here we go. Alright, so here you can see what you get, four different characters in the game, along with Loki, and it also comes with some new locations here that you can play with. Uh, move heroes from any locations, you can move people to this location, which is good if the bad guy ends up there. Drawing cards, a healing thing. You can move all heroes from this location to another location. This definitely has a lot of movement here. You can add people to locations if you need to punch them or help them. You may move any other hero to a location adjacent to them. Again, a lot of movement possibilities. Discard cards and draw that back up many. So hey, it's a good way to cycle through your deck. So that's interesting. I don't know if I like these as much as getting bonus tokens. This set also comes with a trader challenge. Now I want to be straightforward here. This is my least favorite thing that you can get in the expansions. But each person gets one of these allegiance tokens at the beginning. Um, you also get an allegiance card, which will tell you if you are loyal or a traitor. And you also get one wild token. You can play your card face down to get rid of this. Once you have two missions completed, everyone's going to point fingers at who they think the traitor is. If they're correct, everyone gets another wild token. Anyone who's a loyal person who still has one of these takes damage until they're KO'd. You're going to be taking one damage every round until you're KO'd. And then the trader player draws the top two cards of the uh, villain deck and picks which one to play. First of all, this feels like it's they're shoehorning this in the game. Yes, they're doing it because Loki's in the game. But the fact is, is that in the new Marvel, uh, the X-Men United, they're going to let someone play the villain, and I think it does it in a better way. And trying to figure out who the traitor, it, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it fits in this game at all. I just don't like this idea. Now, in some aspects, Loki's kind of a normal villain. He can't take damage when he's in these locations. If he takes damage while here, heroes also take a damage. And then he has a couple frost giants. He's actually not a bad one to introduce people to the game with. Although, his cards are like, ha! He goes after heroes who are alone in their location. And then he hits ones with heroes not alone. So you're never quite sure if you want to be alone or not alone going up against him. And also, his overflow adds to his health. I guess showing his frost giant heritage. So while he starts at 3, 5, or 7, if you don't kill him fast enough and there's overflow happening at all, and there very well could be since his cards, most of his cards are adding people to locations. So overflows are going to happen. I mean, look at that one, a 2, 3, 2. And so because of that, his health can go up considerably, making that once you eventually can do damage to him, uh, he's pretty tough. So interesting thing about the heroes that come in this expansion, all three heroes have special cards and all their cards are the same. So if you see the top one, you're seeing them all. Thor can really wail on a single enemy, which is good if you're playing someone with single enemies. A lot of strength, so Thor's pretty strong with that. Valkyrie has great movement. She can move to any location and then punch something, which makes her a bit versatile. Beta Ray Bill can also move and then two, two damage, and then draw a card. That's a nice special ability. And he's also pretty strong. This is definitely a crew that you want fighting. And then Korg hits one in both adjacent locations or two in the location he's in and does one here, making him probably the most versatile because he could do three damage just like Thor is doing, but also he can hit the two locations next to him, so he's good to take out thugs. So, a lot, I mean, this is definitely a powerhouse team built for fighting. Now, like I said, I think the traitor thing is, uh, I mean, I have so many social deduction games out there, so many cooperative games with traitors in, I don't need them in this game at all. You can play, like I said, they're, they're introducing letting the villains play against characters in the X-Men United. If you want to play with it, go for it, but I wouldn't get this expansion for that. You're getting this expansion because you want the characters, you want the locations of Asgard, and... You know, they're, they're, this is not bad. In fact, this is a pretty good set to play 
if you're first getting the, into the game, right? You get Marvel United. Hey, do you like Thor? Do you like Loki? And then you want to get this set to bring them in. Loki's a very straightforward, a lot of interesting things that he does as a villain. And these all people are, you only have one special card for each one. I mean, there's three copies of it, and they're all pretty strong. They work well against Loki. It's a good mix, I think. So, you know, if you're first getting into the game and you're not sure what to get, this is one I would promote, especially if you like the characters in here. It's not like mind-blowing. It's not one of my favorite expansions, but I think it's pretty solid. So that's Marvel United Tales of Asgard. Dice Tower Judgment approved.